Italian American Football League game of the week. Battle for second place. Parma taking on Ancona. Panthers strike first. Anthony Paoletti pounds one in on the quarterback sneak. Dolphins looking to answer. Colin DeGalbo picked off by Marcello Leone, and he takes it to the house. Panthers up 20 0 at the half, and they weren't going to flip this script. They win 28 13. Nick Lowry, Mason Lowry, Nick Guy, and have more. Well, after a truly chaotic first quarter of football here that saw the two quarterbacks, Colin DeGalbo and Anthony Pauletti, throw a combined five interceptions, everything settled in nicely, and we saw a quietly dominant performance from the Panthers. We did, and it was smash-mouth football, kind of what you'd expect from the Parma Panthers. Dominant on both sides of the ball, offensive line, defensive line, and, of course, Pauletti and Minetti just running the ball one time after another after another, and they look great. This is a truly dangerous team, albeit a dangerous team team in a totally different way than the Guelphy or a dangerous team. Yeah, and, and like we talked about during the game broadcast, this was a team that you and I saw last year that didn't have an offensive identity, started this season without an offensive identity, and now they have essentially two identities. They have a, an identity that can pass the football and is really dangerous with Omotoshu, and they can run the football with Pauletti and Minetti as well when they decide to do that. It's kind of looking right now like the likely matchup for the Italian Bowl, probably the Parma Panthers and the Firenze Guelphi, the Ancona Dolphins right now on the outside looking in. And you pointed this out. There are two losses this year to the two best teams in the league, the Guelphi and now the Panthers. They've gotten off to really slow starts. They need to turn that around when they face one of or both of these teams in the playoffs. Yeah, I think you're right, Mason. We've seen that two times where they started really slow, put a lot of pressure on their defense. And, oh, by the way, their defense even still giving up 28 points, really 21 points. They looked great. So if the offense can, you know, sustain some drives, score some touchdowns early in the game, and Kona can beat these teams. They just haven't been able to do it yet. So the red-hot Parma Panthers get their fifth consecutive win. They take out a really good Ancona Dolphins team on the road.